Hi everyone, welcome back to SATDecoded.com. We've been talking about functions lately, so for this video I just wanted to do a few practice questions. No new concepts, we're just going to keep practicing the same uh, concepts that we've talked about so far with some real world examples. So let's say one of the questions is they give us this master formula, f of x equals x plus 1 times x minus 1 and they want us to find what f of 3 is. Well, if you remember, this 3 right here, is that an input or an output? It's an input. So what do we do with inputs? Well, we put it where wherever we see an x, because the 3 is replacing the x. So f of 3 equals 3 plus 1 times 3 minus 1 which equals 4 times 2, which equals 8. So 8 is what came out when we calculated our, our uh, machine. So 8 is known as an output. OK, so let's continue using this whole master formula up here. Let's say the question now asks us, what is f of 3 plus b? So 3 plus b, because that entire expression is inside the parentheses, that is our input. So again, our inputs go where our x's used to be. So it used to be x plus 1, now it's going to be 3 plus b plus 1. And then this side is going to be 3 plus b and then minus 1. So let's just simplify that. Well, the 3 plus 1 is 4, so this side becomes 4 plus b. 4 plus b. And this side, 3 minus 1 is 2, so it's going to be 2 plus b. So 4 plus b times 2 plus b. If you feel like foiling it out, sure, you can go ahead. First is 8, and then you do outer, so plus 4b, inner, plus 2b, and last, b times b, that becomes b squared. The middle part right here can be combined, so this whole thing equals 8, 8 plus 6b plus b squared. So that whole thing right here is our output. All right, let's try a few, a few more. Let's say they give us our master formula as f of x equals x squared divided by 4. And now instead of giving us the input value like in the past couple examples, they're going to give us an output value. Let's say they tell us f of a equals, um, well, let's say 4. Here's what not to do. Remember that this 4 right here, is that an input or an output? It is an output. So what you don't want to do is use that 4 as an input. A lot of people make this careless mistake. They say that f of a, they just put the, the x right here, they say it is 4 squared over 4. But that is wrong because what you're doing is you're saying the x is four. But the question tells us that f of a equals four. X does not equal four. So let's really think about this question. What is the input then? If it's not four, then it has to be a. Remember, the inputs are whatever is inside the parentheses. You can remember inputs that way. Inputs inside, they both have in. So a is inside the parentheses, and it is replacing the x. So just remember, x equals a, which in this case is the input. So when we have f of a equals 4, what we can really do is rewrite this. f of a, well, f of a is a whole function. That whole thing together is a function. And remember, functions are one of our four outputs. So f of a is also equal to, well, we can replace the a as an input, so we can replace it over here. 
is equal to a squared over 4. All I've done is taken the input of the a and put it where the x used to be. So this a squared divided by 4, that is the machine. And remember, the function equals the machine. And the machine is just another way of expressing our output. So now we have output equals output. Remember, this whole thing just equals y. y kind of is the default output. y is always an output. So a squared plus 4. Well, what does a squared plus 4 equal? In our question, it told us it equaled 4. So we can put 4 right here. a squared divided by 4 equals 4. And this 4 right here is our actual output. So our machine also equals our actual output, which of course is an output. So those are our four outputs, y, function, machine, and the actual number. So now we have, now we have an algebraic expression that we can solve. So how do we get the a squared isolated by itself? Well, we can multiply both sides by 4. So a squared over 4 times 4 equals 4 times 4. So the 4 and the 4 right here, you can really think of this 4 as like a 4 over 1. So the bottom 4 and the top 4 completely cancel each other out. All we're left with is an a squared over 1 equals 16. Well, the 1, that doesn't really do anything, so we have a squared equals 16. Now we take the square root, so we get a squared equals plus or minus 4. Or sorry, a by itself. a is equal to... Uh, I'm just going to erase this right here. When we have a squared equals 14, and we solve that, what we get is a equals plus or minus 4. And remember, a was our input. So therefore, the plus or minus 4 is also our input. Input has to equal input. Remember, the a is the input right here. So the the answer to this question, if they're asking what is a, well, a is equal plus or minus 4. Let's do one more. Let's say we have a master formula of f of x equals um, x plus 5 squared. And now they want us to find f of 3p. What does that equal? So let's start with identifying what our input is. Well, remember our input is the thing inside the parentheses. So in this case, one of our inputs is, is uh, 3p. And of course, the other one is our x value, which is this guy right here. So 3p equals x. All right, so then what is our output? Remember, there are four outputs. So y is one of them. The function itself is one of them. But remember, the x is equal to 3p. So we can just say it's uh, f of 3p. And uh, it also equals, our output also equals our machine. So it has to equal x plus 5 squared. And remember, our x is 3p, so we just replace it. 3p plus 5 squared. And of course, the actual value that comes out. So on the top, it becomes x squared plus 10x plus 25. Again, remember, don't make that mistake of taking this 2 and distributing it. That is wrong. It's x plus 5 squared. You've got to foil it out. You've got to do x plus 5 times another x plus 5, which will end up being that whole thing. Down here is the same logic. You've got to do 3p plus 5 times another 3p plus 5. Do not just take this 2 and distribute it to both parts. So if we FOIL this out, what we get is first, right here, I'm just going to write it on the side, we get 9p squared, that was the first. Outer, you get plus 15p. Inner, you get another plus 15p. And finally, last, you get plus 25. So the middle two terms, 15p plus 15p, that becomes 30p 
So our answer is 9p squared plus 30p plus 25. And that is our actual output value. So that answers our question. f of 3p is equal to this entire expression. Just write it out like this. If you can remember what the four outputs are, y is the first one, the function is the second one, the machine is the third one, and the actual output value is the last one. Write out like this, be very careful with your algebraic calculations, and you get your answer. Good luck, I'll see you in the next video.